Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make your mirrors on your BMW E46 go from this. So when you just lock your car, it just locks your car to this. You will have to have already power folding mirrors in your car. I know if you're in Europe, this is standard, but if you're in the United States, you would have to retrofit power folding mirrors. And I do have a great tutorial that I did on my car of how to do it. It is pretty easy. Sourcing the parts is the hard part. So you'll need power folding mirrors. Um, you'll need memory modules if you don't have it. And you'll also need this. You'll need a power folding switch, which is right here. It has the button, but I found if you cannot find a switch and you already have the iBus app installed, you do not actually need the switch because all the switch does is it just allows you to manually fold it, but I was able to do it without the switch. If you go to the iBus app, if you already have it installed and go under control, there's an option for you to fold your mirrors right here and I demonstrated that in my video and as you can see, it's folding up. So you do not actually need the switch. But like I said, you do need power folding mirrors and not every BMW E46 comes standard with it. So um, you will need those and you'll also need access to NCS Expert and Impa. So you will need your K decan cable with pin seven and eight bridged. This one has a switch and it allows it to be bridged. So I'm gonna start a screen recording and I'm gonna show you how to actually code your mirrors to fold in and out with the key. So I'm now on my computer. I have my computer plugged up through my IMPA cable. And if you do not have IMPA installed or know anything about IMPA or NCS Expert, I do have a great tutorial showing you how to install IMPA and NCS Expert. So let's launch that now. So I have a folder called BMW Tools. And it has all my tools in it. First thing we're going to launch is IMPA and make sure we have a connection to the car. So yep, so we have cable detected, ignition on. So make sure your car is in position two or your engine's on, pin seven and eight or bridge, which they are, and you will have these lights. If you don't, um, it could be that the cable's not connected correctly, not configured correctly, or not bridged. So we can quit that. The next thing we wanna launch is NCS Expert. Now, if you have a pre-facelift coupe, which I do, so it's a 2002, or just a pre-facelift car, um, you are going to have to scan a couple other modules and make some changes to it, but if you have a newer post-facelift, or LCI as they call newer BMWs, you only have to edit your general module uh, GM5, and I'll show you which ones you have to edit for a pre and post. But once you're an NCS expert, you want to go File, Load Profile, and you want to use Revter's NCS Expert X. Uh, Revter's NCS Expert Profile. Now, if you follow my video, you will have this profile because I'll show you how to install it, but if you didn't, you may not have it. So then you're going to click Choose ECU. Sorry, you're going to click Start. And then you're going to click Chassis. You're going to click E46 because that's what we have. We're going to read the AKMB. And then here it's going to read your VIN. And if you get an error here, this is another common sign that pins seven and eight are not bridged. So now once it has your VIN and your vehicle order, we're gonna click back. We're gonna click process ECU. We're gonna change that to just GM5. So this is the only one you have to touch if you have a post facelift car. So you're, you're gonna click okay. You're gonna click okay again. We're gonna click change job. And we want to change this to coder date and lesson. And just coder date and lesson means read the code. Later we're going to do SG coderin, but right now we want coder date and lesson, which is read the code. So we're going to press OK. So coder date and lesson, and the module that you want to read is the GM5, and then you're going to click process or execute job F3. And then it's going to say coding active, coding ended. Now you can subtract NCS expert and you can go to your root directory of your drive, so the C drive, look for the folder called NCSX per without the T, and then you're gonna look for your work folder, and then you wanna look for a FSW underscore PSW trace file, and if you search by date modified, you can see today, today is the 26th, 
and this is the one we want. So we're going to open and you just want to open it with a notepad. And here are all the actual things that have been coded to the car that are, are coded to the car. And now we want to look for this. So I'm going to do command find and I'm going to paste what I'm looking for. I'm looking for this and it cannot find it. So you can do match description. You can go up, can't find it. You can go down, can't find it. This is one of the options that needs to be coded because I have a post facelift coupe. This is one of the options that has to be coded in one of the different modules for the actual memory modules. So don't worry about that. I can't find it. But if you can find it, you're going to want to just change it to active. So it would say not active. You're going to change it to active in the description. I can't find this. This one's not in the GM5 either for me. It's in the other modules. But if it's in the GM5 for you, change it to active. So here's the last one memory underscore GM and you're just going to click find or you can scroll through it and if you can find it in the GM5 then you will code it but if not it's in the other modules and I will show you that now. So if you found any of those three and I'll put it down in the description in the GM5 what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click on it click save as and instead of you're going to change it to all files and instead of um, FSW PSW you're going to change it to FSW PSW dot man and you're going to click save and it's going to say it already exists you're going to click yes and now you have a new man file so you should have a new date on it so we can do date modified you now have this one at the top as your man file so now you're going to go back to NCS expert and you are going to go to you're going to go change job you're going to pick SG Coderin, you're going to press OK, you're going to press Execute Job, and it will code those settings to the car. But because we need to read a different ECU for a pre facelift, we are not going to do that. But if you did have a post facelift, that is what you're going to do. So now let me show you how to do this on a pre facelift car. You're going to click Change ECU, and we are going to click BTM, press OK, press OK again. We're going to click change job and we're going to click SG Coderin and press OK. And now it says SG Coderin. We're going to click execute job, coding active, coding ended. Now we're going to go back to our work folder and we're going to open up the trace file. And now we should have new settings in here. And now we are going to search for those same exact things. So I'm going to search for him now. So we find the first one. Command find again. This is the first one. Bing lap. And it's right here. Popped right up. You're going to change this from not active to active. So niche active, you're going to go back and click active. Just like that. And then the next one we're looking for is this one right here. Binkin lappin. GM and you're going to change that to active. This is the last one you're going to look for. S S Belgian memory GM and change that to active and then you're going to click file save as FSW underscore PSW dot man and then you're going to press save already exists. We want to overwrite it. You're going to press yes. Exit this out open up NCS expert we're gonna click change job we're gonna do coder date and lesson okay and then we're gonna click execute job I'm not gonna do that just because I am trying to record this video but that would code it and then we're gonna go check one more module out so the last module we want to check out is the FTM so we're gonna go under change ECU and we're gonna click FTM we're gonna press OK press OK again we're going to do change job to coder date in lesson, which is to read the code. I think on the other one I said SG code here in. You are, so you, on, to write the code you want to do SG code here in, and to read the code you want to do coder date in lesson. I think I said that wrong in the last one. I will annotate that on the screen if I did mess that up. But it should be coder date in lesson to read the code. So coder date in lesson, press OK. It's going to say, Coding active code and ended, and then you're going to go back to that work folder and open up the trace file. 
So this trace file is constantly being updated with different information. So now that we have that, we are going to go back and let's figure out what we need to be coded. So we're going to do a command find and you're going to press, or control find if you're on Windows, sorry, I'm on a Mac using VMware, but it is control find. You're going to click file, it cannot find that. Let's back it up just a little bit and see if there's something else close to it. So yep, this is it right here. You want to change this one from coding active to coding uh, coding uh, niche active, not active, to active. So you just back out the active part. And the next one is right under it as well. So we want to change this one from, act, from niche active to active. And all you do is back out the space. And then we're looking for one more. Um, I got to search it. I don't find it there. So we'll do find, and we're looking for this module, which is right here, the SBGMIR, I just butchered that, but and change this one from niche active to active, and then you're going to do a file, save as, fsw underscore psw dot man, and then you're going to click save. Or do you exist, replace it, exit this out. Now you're going to go change job. And you want to do SG Coderin. And this is to write the code. You're going to press OK. And then you're going to click execute job. And that will execute the job to code it. Now I'm going to go back to my camera. And we're going to shut the car off once. Turn it back on. And then we'll do the outro of this video. It's a pretty quick, easy video. So that's really it to code the power folding mirrors. You just have to make those changes inside of NCS Expert, and you are able to now code, have your mirrors go in and out with the key fob instead of pressing the actual button inside the car. It is super useful. Now, a lot of people might say, well, why can't I just use Carly for this? Carly is like a simple, easy app. Well, um, this car didn't come with it from the factory. It was a pre-facelift, but if you do have a post-facelift and you retrofit, I'm pretty sure you can use Carly. I just was unable to. There's no options inside of the Carly app, so I had to code it with NCS Expert, and to be honest, it really wasn't that hard. If you follow the guide that I just made, it's pretty easy. I know I kind of go fast, but basically what you have to do is you, if you have GM5, you just code that. If you have a post facelift you just code the GM5, and if you have a pre-facelift, you code those two modules all with the same name um, for the settings and I will put them down in the description and basically you use SG Coderin to read the code and I use sorry you use coder date and lesson to read the code and SG Coderin to write the code and you use the same man fi uh, trace file and man file for every single module it overwrites itself you're never using the old one that's really it for this video. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below. If you like the power folding mirrors, give this video a thumbs up and be sure to check out, if you wanna retrofit power folding mirrors, be sure to check out my guide on how to retrofit power folding mirrors in a BMW E46. It doesn't matter if you wanna retrofit M3 ones or if you have a sedan, it's all the same process with just different part numbers which you can find online and in forums. If you guys need any help with NCS Expert, I do have a video for that and I will put a link for that in the description. But that's really it. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.